After World War II, we had a, the industrial capacity to produce a whole bunch of explosives and chemical weapons. Anybody know about this? Yeah. Yeah. Lots of factories yeah. Yeah. building explosives and chemical weapons. And after the war, the ability to produce far outstripped the demand. And so intelligent businessmen like they were figured we need to find a new market. Or a new war. Or a new war. And they've been continuing with the wars, but they've also been finding, developing their other markets. What they realized was, um, and the science was not new at that point, that if you could put soluble nitrogen, soluble phosphorus, soluble potassium into soils, you could cause plants to grow rapidly. Also, if they grow rapidly and weakly, they're sickly. And so you can use your chemical weapons to kill the pesticide, the pests, and the, um, and the fungi, and things like that, right? So by selling farmers fertilizer, they were then able to sell them the chemical weapons. And so what they did was they invested in the land-grant universities, and they said, here, here's a half million bucks. Just do this research for us. Just hire this guy. Here's two million bucks. Fire that guy. And you can go through the historical record and see what happened. This is how it went down. It was straight up, full on, this is the story, this is, I actually have a history degree, I have no other degree, formally, but <laughs> history degree. So I think history is important. Um, this is a historical record of land-grant universities, agronomy education, um, and, and chemical, you know, ag. So.